What's up guys? If you were going on a trip and you were taking an electric guitar with you, what would be the one guitar pedal that you would bring? Actually, my friend Sean Daniel is gonna let me borrow one of his pedals. So let's see what he chose for me to take. What's up, Sean? Buddy, buddy, what's happening? Not much, just uh, getting ready for that trip. Had, had to hook you up with something tasty. The Strymon Timeline pedal. This is the uh, guitar delay pedal that you'll see a lot of professionals have on their board. This is definitely a cool pedal to have because there's an unlimited amount of things you can do with it. For a travel pedal, it's not small. You know what I mean? This is a bigger form factor for a pedal, but because it's also a looper, you think about carrying a looper pedal and an effects pedal, then it's like, all right, well, it's already a mess. So it's cool that it's both in one. Thank you, bro. No problem. That's awesome. Gosh, you have a good trip. All right, so I got my family ready and my guitar in my suitcase. Let's do this. How fancy my sister owns property here in Tulum, Mexico. And my other sister lives here. She's actually holding the camera. Follow me, sister. Let me show you your own house. And that's where you sleep, correct? Hola. How are you? My name is Ali. Mm, are you changing your name for the video? Well, can you say Aleli? They say never show yourself in a mirror. You know what I say? I don't care. All right, don't mind the mess, but there's a reason I wanted to show you something in my suitcase. Look just like that. A guitar. I mean, isn't it cool to be able to travel the world and in the suitcase have a guitar? Isn't that cool? My sister is telling me the views here are incredible in the rooftop, so let's check it out. Don't fall with my camera. <laughs> is it heavy? Oh wow, more? Cheese and crackers. This is nice. You can see all the vegetation. So where are we, Aleli? We are in uh, the Lagoon Canlum. Canlum de, de Lagoon. Uh, in the Riviera Maya, Mexico. And right in the middle, there's a huge, very deep cenote. cool like I took the, the drone and I couldn't even see it the whole thing on how big this place is how do you like it very cool my sister's condo is awesome we were there a couple of days and my other sister who lives there she used to work at a resort called Akumal Bay and so we decided to come a couple of days with her and here we are. I mean, look at these views that you can have at this resort. I mean, this is out of our bedroom. There's a hot tub and the view. How can you go wrong with this view? The only downside is that there's a hurricane coming tonight. And so I guess that's the only downside.
Yeah, so honestly, that hurricane was crazy. And there was a little bit of damage here where we are the next day. A lot of garbage everywhere, but we kind of helped picking up. I think it was because of us that it's perfectly clean now. Just kidding, the staff was, was cleaning for two days. Now the weather is nice, we can walk to a spot where I can play the guitar. This place is really a paradise. Should I walk the whole way like this? Look at the ocean, I mean, come on. Cement pathways, look at this. This place really makes me wanna redo my backyard. Those holes in the sand are made by turtles. Every night there's giant turtles that come out of the water and lay their eggs. All right, so this is a yoga retreat or the building they use for yoga. I feel like men versus, what is it? That guy? Oh, I feel like a clown. There, was, there were people there meditating and I was screaming like an idiot. Oopsies. <laughs> Some trees can be poisonous, right here. Don't get too close. A while ago I did a allergy test and from out of like 20 things, I was only allergic to certain tree. I don't know what's the tree, I don't remember. I didn't keep the records. Hopefully none of the ones here. The hermit crab. This is one of my favorite animals. It's a crab that finds a shell since they're little so they're always changing shells to accommodate to their size of their body. love living here, huh? Yes, I do. That's why I live here. Welcome to mi casa. Yeah. We're back from the trip everybody and it was a lot of fun of being over there except for the hurricane. I want to say thanks to a couple of people like Sean Daniel for letting me borrow this pedal. I don't think it's a good travel pedal because it doesn't have battery so I couldn't use it unless there was power and it's kind of heavy like Sean had said. It's very powerful so it is I think it's a must pedal to have for any musician but it's not a travel pedal which we knew already. I want to thank my sister Aleli for taking us everywhere for accommodating 
us. My sister Aleli is selling units at that condo that I showed you. So if you're interested in buying property in Mexico in Tulum, please contact Aleli. By the way, I want to thank Lorena who owns that condo. I want to thank also the staff at um, Akumal Bay for being awesome. There's some uh, great musicians that perform there too. So check it out when you go there. I guess I almost forgot the most important person to thank is you for watching and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It never focuses when you want it to focus. There you go.